Hi, I'm doing a video on how to use the Minecraft on a a, a laptop, I take it, with um where your graphics card's been customized by the manufacturer. But to start with, most people will open up their Minecraft, click log on, and then get a little error message with some really random crap in it. Well, um, I can show you how to get rid of that. So first you need to go to your control panel. I would recommend doing a, uh, what's it called? A backup before you do this, just in case you do something a bit wrong. Because I was, when I was told how to do this by a mate, uh, he told me to do a backup. But I didn't do it. I mess anything up. So you go on uninstall a program. And you should get your Intel HD graphics driver by the Intel Corporation. Now you might think, hold on, it's by Intel, so it's nothing to do with my well for me, Toshiba, customizing it. It is, because that's what I had problem with mine. So you gotta uninstall that. As you can see I've only just reinstalled it because you have to reinstall it after off the Intel website. So after you've uninstalled that, you should go back in well, I went back into Vista mode. I don't know about you. And uh what you have to do once you've uninstalled that is you go onto the internet. Go on Intel Intel.com Oh, UK for me and then have a look at I'm no good at this, hold on. Intel drives you go. I'll put the link of it in the description. So you get Intel drivers and you need to download Oh no, we go hmm. Run Intel driver update utility. Then you have to click this. Check your system for the latest updates. So you click that. it may take a, a while do you know what that's not gonna work Intel HD graphics drivers <coughs> So we'll go on here, and what you need to do, I'll put the link in the description. And you got like to select your operating system and stuff, and then to go down, and it's Windows Seven, that one. Yep, that's the right one. See with the with the Toshiba, they um don't have this final update here. Well, I don't know if it's final, what it, what it is. So um you need to get that, and then it should work for you. Because I spent about two months trying to figure out how to do it, and then gave up until my mate helped me. So if you if this uh you gotta like install that, and then got to I think you've got to reboot like just like you well you had to reboot when you uninstalled it so you have to reboot when you installed it should come back to normal to Windows 7 from Vista and then you should be able to play Minecraft so I'll put the link of this site in the description and big thanks to my friend JB93 Big Sexy, who was the one who helped me with this. Thank you.